Hi, I'm Adam Mattis with Sterling Machinery Exchange. We've been buying, selling, and trading new and used press brakes, shears, grinders, lathes, milling machines, saws, and much more since 1954. We're really excited to show you what we have today. We are the only demonstration facility and facility available beside Cincinnati in the entire world that has machines on their floor available for sale. Right here we're going to show you, we're going to go over the 175 ton by 12 foot base form machine. This is their brand new base machine. Very, very nice three to four axis machine. Depending on your needs, there's a few options you can add to it. Uh, the controller here is a very nice controller. It's the same controller on every single Cincinnati brake they make from the smallest one to the biggest one. So there's no learning curve as you get different brakes or go into somewhere where they might not have it. You'll have guys that already know Cincinnati. It'll be very easy for them to go ahead and get onto this machine. We're going to show you a few things because I think one of the best things about this machine is the controller and the software to really show you how easy it is to not only be able to program, but also graphically see what this machine can do. You can see all the different bends that you're going to be making, how to turn the pieces. So when you have a shift change, you'll have no discrepancy on parts because they're all going to be the same every time. They'll know exactly how the program's supposed to be run. Uh, there's also a really nice tool library on here. What that does is it shows you all the different tools that you can put into here. So you'll notice here we have a couple of different tools. They're already in the machine, programmed. It knows what size they are, what depth it's going to be, and it's very easy to go ahead and set them in. So these are precision ground Wilson tooling and every single tool from their catalog is already in the computer here which you could just pull right up and you'll know how to set up very easily. We'll go ahead and get out of this screen. Got our tools in place. Another nice thing I want to show you is the simulation view. So we've already put in a basic program. Uh, you can actually import this from many different ways, most native uh, software uh, and a few other different uh, extensions. You'll import it into here and you can actually see the whole layout as it goes. So we're going to go ahead and make a piece. We're going to first show you how it works. So you'll notice everything here is touch screen. You can see how it's laid out. You can see how the, the fingers are going to be holding the machine. And we have five steps within this program. So here's the first step. The second step, we're going to move to the hemming dies. And you can see we're actually the hems curling back in this drawing in the, in the graphical design. And you'll know by being gray on the top which side of the material you're going to be using. Notice now it turned to green, which means flip the material over. Again, you'll see where the fingers are, where it all matches up. We'll put that hem in and we're going to get our next bend. Flip it over again. Again, it's showing you exactly where everything's going to be taking place and what the part will look like when you're all done. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go through this program, show you actually a part being made. We can talk about these machines forever. That's why we do have them on the floor here for you to come and take a look at, see if they'll work for you. If they don't, we have lots of other machines. We'll show you, here's our, our fabricating facility. We'll show you a few of the other machines we do carry here. Um, notice there's a USB drive here, your controller arms are here, mouse, everything's set up on here, nice color touchscreen. We'll go ahead and set to cycle start. It already knows the tools in there and it goes to the first graphical picture. So we've got our simple piece of metal here. We are going to look at the picture and we'll set it up. So first step, you notice there's two nice supports here. These slide very easily wherever you're doing your work. Another thing to talk about is these brakes are really meant for segmented tooling. So if you have a job with multiple different bends, you can set the whole thing up on this brake and walk right down the line and come out with a complete bend without having to change all the dies, all the programs, everything's going to be set in there. So it makes it really nice to be able to do that. Also with this Wilson tooling, it's all designed at the same height. So every single piece in here, we're not going to have to remove the die to go ahead and put another one in. They're all the same height. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put our piece in, hit this back gauge finger. Now this particular 175BX has the R-axis feature. Now that's going to be the up and down of the back gauge. 
The basic one's gonna come without it. It's just gonna be Y1, Y2, and the in and out. So this one will give you a little bit more on the feature. We'll go ahead and put that in there. There we have our first bend. So you can see a nice clean bend. We'll go back over here, take a look. Our next thing is gonna be closing in this hem. Now without having to change anything, any tooling, I'll go ahead right to this hemming die. Put your piece in. And what we're gonna do is just flatten this down. You'll notice right after that happened, the back gauge moved back just a little bit. Now you can see a very nice clean hem and go back to this picture. So now you can see they flipped the, the material. That's why it's green instead of gray. So we're gonna flip our material over. We're gonna put the hem side, which is very close here. Zoom in a little. You'll see the hem side is right along the finger. So we're gonna set it right again, right on that finger. And that gives us our 90. Move back to our picture again, take a look. You'll notice it's gray on the top. Again, that means to flip it. And even if you have a question on anything, you can look and you'll see the hem is facing the die. You got your 90. Everything's really simple, easy to see. We'll go ahead and put this next one in. You'll notice the back edge did move back to that next step, which we're gonna push back into. So that's the next step of this bend. It's gonna give it a couple inches. Simple as that. And one last time, we'll take a look here. And you'll notice that it's completely flipped around. Hem on the top. And we're on the gray side, so we're back to this side. So it makes it really easy for the operator not to have to possibly bend the wrong way and you end up losing a piece of material. So for this last bend, take a look here again. You'll notice that the finger changed. So instead of using the front forward finger, it's actually using the block a little bit farther back. Now these machines, you can put a lot of different fingers on here. They have specialty tooling that they can fix and make for you so that wherever your, your material is gonna line up, it can either clamp it, hold it, push it, or let you know exactly where you're gonna be. So we're gonna go ahead and push it back. You'll notice again right there, it is in the, in the top part of the finger. This is the last step of the program. Nice, small bend right there. So you can see how easy it is to go from just 90s to hemming to 30 degree. Uh, whatever type of tooling you wanted to put in here, you can go ahead and switch it out. Here's another piece that we did, just a quick 90 back and forth. Just some samples of other types of material you can run in here. Again, hemming, all the different degrees of bend. Let's take a look around the back of the back gauge. Let's just see how the R axis is all set up. So you can see the back gauge, a nice heavy back gauge. This is the Cincinnati back gauge. It's gonna go back and forth, that's your X, and then you'll have the up and down, which is the big silver bar. Those are gonna give you that R axis, and that's what's gonna line your fingers all up. But take a really quick look at how clean everything is in this machine. If you look at the scales here, where the cylinders are, everything has a place where it's supposed to be. It's very organized. The pumping structure up top is so clean, very easy to work on. That's one of the great benefits of these Cincinnati's. Move on out here. Take a look at this throat. Another really nice feature of these brakes has a 16 inch deep throat, which is gonna be bigger than most machines. Most machines only give you about nine inches. So that'll give you a little bit more length. We'll go ahead and stop the cycle here. Again, if you wanted to run machine uh, and just do a bend on the fly, you can go ahead and put this in all manually. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do quick bends. Here's the quick bend station. 
basically put your tilt in, your positions, whatever you want to do manually, it's very easy to go ahead and set inside there. And, and again, you can pull it up at any time, open up, and you'll see all the different programs here. Here's the PGM program, which you can import into it, pull it right up, and you'll be right on to the next picture. Now here at our fabricating facility, we do have a lot of different machines, all different brands here. Here's the brand new Cincinnati's. Right behind that we had a nice Derma. You'll see over here is a, a real nice Y song. We carry Accupresses. Believe it or not, this is actually a used Accupress. Every used machine that goes through here, Sterling, gets a certified guarantee. We make sure it's all checked out, go through the computers, go through the seals, go through the machine, make sure it's fully functional. This one just came out of the paint shop. You also see back here a couple other used Cincinnati's. Very nice machines. One other one I'd like you to show you over here. Is a Pacific. So you can see we also carry Pacific brand new over here. This is a used machine. Came in as a Herco CNC controller. So depending on what you're looking for, you can really see all the different designs of each of these machines here at our facility. You can check them out, you can run them, and we'll demonstrate them. So if you have any questions, please give us a call at 626-444-0311. You can check out our website for a current inventory of new as well as used machines at sterlingmachinery.com. Thank you. Sterling Machinery sells all types of metalworking, fabricating, and chip making machinery such as lathes, metal shears, press brakes, punch presses,
punches, grinders, milling machines, saws, plate rolls, iron workers, inspection equipment, welders, and much more. Sterling Machinery is one of the largest stocking dealers of new and used machine tools in the United States. You can view over 2,000 machine tools available for inspection on our floor or visit www.sterlingmachinery.com to view all machine specifications, photos, videos, prices, and buyer's guides for all types of equipment. If you can't find the machine you're looking for, please give us a call at 626-444-0311 and our educated staff can find the right machine for you.